Welcome back to Elden Ring. I'm uh, going to continue with the playthrough now. Um, as you can see, this is where we got up to last time, following the opening scenes, character creation, and the tutorial dungeon. Uh, so we can't go through here. And this is an imp statue. Stone Sword Key. So in the opening um, character creation, you can choose Stone Sword Keys. Um, now I think you get two, uh, from what the description said. But this is what you use them on. So you use them on this, and it seems to open areas which you otherwise wouldn't have access to. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that now until I get one. Um, and who knows how long that will be, because I am playing this blind. Try lever. Really? <laughs> Hidden path I had to. It's not. And let me guess, this one as well, it's going to say... Hidden path ahead. Oh, look at this. Whoa. No. It's generally speaking always good to try and see if you can open anything, basically. Because you never know. Some of these will be legit, and you will actually find, like, some decent items, probably. Presumably. Um, it typically was that way. I sort of weirdly clipped through the wall. Shouldn't have done. Anyway, um, moving on. Elevator, as always. I haven't decided whether or not... So I've started this blind. I haven't decided whether I'm going to be playing this also off video. Um, whereby I have a separate character to just chill on the game or whatever when I'm not recording. Because I don't always get a chance to record, but I do often get a chance to play games. Um, Reason being, I don't have like a room for recording. I kind of just play on the main TV, and it wouldn't be fair to my partner to, to just hog it all the time while I record or tell, tell her to leave the room, kind of thing. Off our bravery. Open. Why? I did not expect it to look like this. Wow. That's actually insane. Look at it. That's mad! It's actually so pretty. Wow. Right, we're gonna go to the left here first, why not? Let's gather some materials. Row it through, times three. Visions of item. <laughs> Beast ahead. <laughs> you little guy. Get back here! You actually kill these things. You can. Pillage corpse. Thin beast bones. Oh, okay. So there's like just foraging and stuff as well, which will have its uses, I imagine. Thin beast bones. Does that mean if you can manage to kill a bird then as well? Because I don't think I'm going to get close. Unless I sneak. Let's sneak on a bird. Yep, it's neat. Flight pinion. So there's clearly going to be some level of crafting or whatever in this game. Oh my god, look at that. Mate! I want to go there. You can see shipwrecks in the distance. This is insane. Oh god, you can see stuff in the distance. Like, what the f... I... I'm so impressed. And I'm so happy that I, like, I didn't look at trailers or anything. This is just incredible to experience. Arterially. Oh no. I'm going to end up getting <laughs> sucked into just doing random walking about and finding things. Ooh. I just... Alright. Just got an emote there. Look at that down there. Oh my god. Then you've got the map as well. Jeez, so zoom. So this is the map I can see, and I am down here. Cool. In the cave of knowledge, the stranded graveyard. It's 
Sneaky. Like giant bats and things. Ruin. What's this? Just a random skull. Nice. Ooh. Earthly flower. Cool. No idea what these things do yet. Probably supposed to be some level of structure of where I'm supposed to be going and whatnot, but got these fruit. Right, so we came out here and evidently you're supposed to run forwards, obviously. Ta-da! Touch Grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path, even though some sites of Grace retain that power. The golden rays will guide you along the way. Uh, okay, so you're supposed to follow the direction that it shows as a kind of general guide. Use your map to check your current position. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments as that uh, steals along the way. Cool. Hello there. Yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden, of course you have. No shame, Unfortunately for you, however, you are maiden. You are maiden without guidance. Without the strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold, your fate is it seems to die in obscurity. Okay. I want shining ray of hope. Me, Father. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, Tarnish. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A power okay. that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Anything else you'd like to say? Guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff. Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff. Of the decrepit demigod, Godric, Godric the Grafted. Okay. Anything else? It's time you set off, I think. If you seek the Right, okay, so evidently then we need to head to Castle Stormvale. Sorry, I'm, I'm making notes as I go. Cool, right. And evidently this tells you, you need to be roughly heading in that direction to that little chapel over there most likely, and then you'll head over to that castle, I guess. Cool. Right, let's get moving. <gasps> Boards. Boardies. Oh, what's that? It's just a rock. Okay. I thought it was like some ore or something to mine. Didn't expect a gorgeous view. I know, it, it's actually mad. This game is very pretty. That tree is also insane. And as you can see, it's getting darker. There was the time setting earlier where you could rest at some grace, and it, it was early day when I started and saw it in the last episode. So evidently it changes over time. There's a lot of bones around. Herba. Herba. I'm getting distracted already and I really want to like run down here and look at this. So evidently you'll have like the open landscapes to be able to explore and I'm guessing it'll be kind of like what happened with the tutorial there like you'll go to certain like significant places so to speak like we had the Castle Stormvale has been mentioned and that'll be like a okay so you can go and do like a dungeon almost oh hello Indies bones come back here oh he's mugged me there we go. Oh, what are these? Sunflowers. Tarnished golden sunflowers. I, I do wonder what all these things are for. There will be something, but yeah. 
We'll find out eventually. Right, I'm not going to get too distracted by killing everything I see. Because obviously we want to be making progress. So I've run down to this little bit here just because I'm interested by this little building. And that is also something that interests me down here. But I'm assuming there's like an actual method by which to get down here maybe? Yeah, by the looks of it, it probably is. Um, but we'll, we'll go for that another time. I'll probably do like following the main story for the most part, and then like if there's like an occasional thing that I feel we need to sidetrack to or whatever, then we might. Because I imagine there might be like side quests maybe that they'll mention certain places and you need to find them on the map, perhaps. For example, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything significant about this thing. So, well, um, we will continue on, I think. Towards the castle. So we need to get to that little chapel first, don't we? Alright. I wonder what the harvesting will do then. Maybe it'll give you like some special potions or something. Like strength potions or maybe something different, I don't know. Roa fruit. Right, I'm on top of this one. Let's keep moving. In. Okay, yeah, so the light the light was leading us to this as the next location. So then we can touch the grace. Lost grace discovered. Fast travel to the site's grace. Okay, so quick ways to travel around the map, yeah. And then now it's telling us to go that way to the next one. Hello there! You're a tarnished. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase? I am cartlet. Purchase a little something. Cartlet, purveyor of fine goods. Merchant Carle. How about Carle? Fire like yourself who keep things from drying up keep entirely. From drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very, so you're a very welcome customer. Customer. Recommendation. You, you know, you if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself, buy yourself a crafting, a crafting kit. kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really. If you intend to survive out here for any duration, the kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. I see. Which I mean, you can spend runes to purchase these various items. You can also sell items for runes. So, oh, okay, there's a cookbook and stuff for your crafting repertoire, crafting kit, cracked pot, crafting cracked pot items. Arrows, got chainmail. Note, waypoint ruins, flask of wondrous physic. Hmm. Cool. Um, so we've got 636. We will purchase the graphing kit. Which is more or less all we can do for now. We'll come back for this in a bit. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an egg. Made an excellent choice. Item crafting. Containers. You'll need crack pots or other containers to craft certain items. You'll not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Ah, that's pretty cool. Strengthening armaments. Got the item. Smithing stone. Okay. Ah, oh, hello. Hello there, Mr. Donkey. I love donkeys, man. They're so cool. Poor guy. Hold my up on your back. Spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can have to plus three at a smithing table. Somewhere in the lines between you may make a blacksmith who can make them even stronger. Okay, so you can do basic to your, your things yourself. Um, so, for example, the broadsword sort of would go up by 14. Uh, or the sacred seal. Cool. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Item crafting. Crafting menu can make various items and things you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Okay, so you can make bone darts. Rower raisin. On horseback, feed to torrent to restore HP. Shines to cover open place seven as a guide, rainbow stones, using ruin fragments. Roped fire pots, you need mushrooms, smoldering butterflies and string, or standard fire pots. Fur crawling finger remedy, reveals cough and hostile summoning signs. Ah, using urge leaf flowers, nice. I'm probably not going to bother doing any multiplayer stuff, to be honest, on this. 
I guess the experience is to watch me do the game myself, right? Right, uh, so we found Carly then. And I'm assuming this has like a name. We rest at the site of Grace. It's late day right now. We can open the map. So what's this called? The Church of Ella. Right, gotta make a note. Church of Ella. We've got Carly the Merchant. Cool. And we are heading up still. Sweet. Right, it's gonna move on. Oh, okay, you can see open and enemies openly walking around. Then we just saw one up the road. It's just telling us to head that way. So we will do that. We will try to stay mostly focused on this. I guess. And there's elderly flowers. Oh, someone's on horseback. Yes. I say horseback, I mean, it is a horse, but like... I don't know who's in there. Get wrecked meat. Ruined. Some bolts. Sweet. More rower fruits. The raisins will be good. Oh. Uh-huh. I I actually really like that this is open world. Cookery. In previous games, lives with throwing knives that cause the bleeding effect a lot easier. Oh, hello. It's a boar. Get wrecked, mate. Ruined fragment. That's blue rainbow stones to remember your way. Mate, then beast bones. Ah, oh. except for his horns or something, you know. We, yo, is that a bear or something? I don't know. Didn't look like a bear after I saw it just move. <laughs> Some more ruin fragments. Oh, wait, no. Let me just kick this around. Why is it shiny? Golden rune. If things don't, chop it with sword. Sliver of meat. Yum. Gold tinged extra. Why is it always dung? Praise the dung. Hey. It's the loathsome dung eater that was mentioned in the opening scenes. I'm just saying. Let's not be so quick to judge the dung, man. Why is this it's shining like this night? Oh, maybe you need like a spade or something. Oh, hello. How are you? Lord Swarm's Bolt. Ruin fragment. Ruin fragment. More ruin fragments. Mad. It's almost like I'm on a broken building or something. Alright, let's keep following the path. But we will clean people out as we go. Because clearly you're meant to be following the path. Oh, it's a boar. <laughs> Hefty beast bone. And a lump of flesh. We're just making the rest of the ball go to waste or something. My guy, it's so wasteful. What are you doing? I'm gonna kill the damn thing, at least eat the whole thing.
God, you're so slow. I see you. I see you resting there. Ooh, hello. What's this? A root laser. Bolts. We found a cave. Grace ahead. Oh, there's a Grace. Groveside Cave. Summoning pools. In each area you'll find effigies or mountains. Summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations. There's co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. I see. Okay. Touch the Grace. The Groveside Cave. So this one I can see doesn't have like a marker trying to guide me, so clearly it's meant to be like a side thing. Um, we we will return here at some point, I guess. I'll put that on my to-do. Cool. We will come back. I did it. Try fire. Did I say try fire? Try fire. Mm, nice. Well, the samurai class appears to start with fire arrows, so maybe easier starting point for that to do. Oh, mate. The lighting. The sunset. That's mad. What the... I ain't gonna ask. Right, let's let's head back towards the, the main things, I think. Maybe maybe I'll split it by like doing some main story, then side quest main story. I've not really decided. Let's face it, I'm gonna make it up as I go along. I'm guessing my next major location is this. Ah, yeah, you little bastard. Too fast. Ah yeah, that's how you'll enter the castle. Cool. Damn, he can make it hard. Get clapped, mate. Gate front ruins. Oh. Hello. Turn back. Sick advice. They weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. Hello there! Oh, there's wolves. If there's anything I learned from the previous games, dogs can be a little bit overwhelming. Dogs and wolves, even. They tend to come at you rapid. Oh, we've got the soldiers' groups now. Get clapped, mate. Done in. I'm loving that we can stealth around. It's cool. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's gonna jump on it, but then I just jumped through it. Oh, oh no, you've seen me. What will I ever do? Oh, no, you put his thing away. Okay, so there's like alert levels then to them, for whether they think they see something or not. I saw you sneaking around here. Clapped me. I think they've got like a little military camp on the company just running around murdering things. Oh. You can't handle the confessor. My name is Chief. I make you confess. That's hurting a bit. Oh, you're like a special boy. Oh, no, no, no. I run away from you, my friend. All right, we're good. We're good. You're not 
very friendly, are you? Hmm. I'm in a bit of a pickle with you, aren't I? Are you going to keep following me if I keep running? No? Maybe? I get the feeling I really need to sneak up on you. And that ain't going to happen, is it? You're not going to like me. Aha. You are still watching me. Leave me alone. I am a friendly man, I swear. What else do we have? There's two healing things on you already. Cookery, what's that? Blood loss. Small number of rooms, crafting. Eh, not real. We craft bone knives, I guess, but they're kind of crappy, I guess. You're a big boy, and I don't like that. Fifty-nine damage did like nothing to him. Hmm. Put me up on him a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. Okay. It can be easy then. It can be, but... You need his pathing to get a little bit more. When he's trying to attack. Good to know. Good to know. Let's break that. Golden rune. Nice. That's a main, main list. Main list. Oh, you've got a horn. Nice horn, bro. I want the horn. Give me the horn. Uh, I would like to announce my arrival to places. Ah, well, broke that, didn't I? Okay, there's a grace there. Someone on the horseback. By the looks of things. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Interesting. Hello there. Oh, hello. Ow. You little shit. Oh, that's it. Oh, genteel. Oh. Read message. Treasure just ahead. There is? Mate. Flail. Yeah, a flail. Nice. Probably can't use it though, to be fair. Not the point. Not the point, mate. But there is a flail. That's all that matters. Hello there. Let's have fight. Get clapped. Definitely just pulled that rower fruit out of his ass. Don't know why he was shoving it up there, but he was. Can't, I, I think, for some reason I like I click an X a lot on things because obviously other games X is generally like your yeah, action button just to click to say like oh yeah go through dialogue do select something or whatever yeah instead uh, it's near the jump button so <laughs> oh baby yeah it's cleaned. Oh, there's a guy. A man, if you will. And he did. Get ruined, mate. Oh, 
what the? What on earth? Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing enemy group will replenish your flasks. Oh. Cool. Replenish one flask. Wow, well, that's good to know. As long as you're careful, you can take out an enemy group and whatever. Right, we managed to get to this grace then. Cool. I'm almost wondering if just to round off this episode, whether it's worth me just having a. I'm going to go back to the merchant, buy those notes and stuff off of him. Then I might try that Groveside Cave where someone said try fire. Because as much as, you know, try fire, I, I feel like, no. Oh. Hello. What's going on? And you are? I made them. Greeting. Traveler. From, from beyond, beyond the fog. The fog. You're a fog. I am Melina. Melina? She just pulls out a knife. Just starts stabbing you. What's up, lady? I offer you an accord. Alright. That. Cool. Have you heard of the finger maidens? No. They serve the two fingers. They serve the two fingers. Offering guidance. And aid and to the tarnished. To the tarnished. Alright. Cool. But I can play the role of maiden. Play a role of maiden. Turning runes into strength. In your, you need only take take the foot me with of you. The to the foot of the Erd tree. Then it's settled. Then it's settled. By grace. By grace to turn ah. around. Another, Another map. I bequeath to you, I bequeath this, to you ring. this ring. Spectral steed ring. Whistle. It. Nice. It will summon a torrent as to treat him with respect. Hey, torrent's my boy now. Flasks. Add charge to a flask. Use one golden seed to increase your flask usage. Yeah, so as I suspected, you can get one, I think, if I recall correctly, from the starting things. So use a sacred tier to increase the amount of HP FP replenished. Nope, we don't have one of those. I'll hit flash charges. Ah, so this is like Dark Souls 3, where you can change it. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, Shall I turn? Let my hand rest. Shall I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with like a build or anything yet, to be honest. Um, the principles you would follow. So that puts your FP up. Endurance does your stamina and maximum equip load. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Strength and dexterity will do those things. In general, uh, intelligence generally defense power in your body by the looks of it. Faith, yeah, oh well, we don't have an intelligence weapon on to be fair. Arcane does discovery as well. Uh, that'll explain why the bandit has decent arcane then. I am discovery. Um. We'll put a couple into our Vigor for some HP. Sweet lady. Horseback riding. Do I have to equip the ring then or? From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to, from your pouches. Okay, yeah. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Triangle plus up. Right, okay. Oh, I see. So you can use them in the main menu by doing that. Okay. Put that on there, for example. Ah, okay. Yeah. Or you can hold triangle here and... Yeah. Sweet. And you can jump off. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Um... A 
What's up, boys? How you good? Yeah, you good? Yeah, you know. Get collapsed, mate. Oh, you respawned, have you? Blah, 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 blah. Damn. Right, we're back here again. Let's let's have a cheeky run in here, see what happens. Oh, this is dark. I don't have a torch, do I? Oh, hello. Damn, you can jump up close. And... Nice. Grove side cave. Oh, you a big wolf. Oh, shit. We're in trouble. Boy, that hurt. Thin beast bones. Really? I kill that big Donnie and I get thin beast bones. Mate. Are you mad? Oh, hello. How you doing? What's this? Cracked pot. Ah, for crafting. Why is it always dung? <laughs> Not dung. You're dung. Keeps up, man. Golden room. Sweet. Silver fireflies. What do we do? Something incredible I have. Sweet. Attacking? What do you mean attacking? You can't do anything. Guess I can go deep. But first, let us heal. see anything when I'm walking on the floor. Oh! Try jump attack. Turn back. Oh, well, I was going to read the message, but it's fine. Beastman of Farum Azula.
Oh no. Oh, this is dance. I realise I'm not speaking. <laughs> Clap. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that was bad. That was bad. No, you are nearly dead. And you are dead. Jesus. Flame Drake Talisman. Jeez. Cool. What is that? It's not in there. It's not in there. What is that? What was that? Boost fire damage negation. Ah, okay. Let's have a look around your room, shall we? Oh, my jump attack. So jump attack is useful there because it does stop him from following up. Time for sleep. Well, it's a type of sleep, I guess. It's a dirt now. Return to the entrance. Hmm. So some of the caves just have little bosses in them. Cool. And you get like talismans by the sounds of it. Return to the entrance. Yes, we shall. Right, well, um, yeah, sweet. That will uh, mark the end of this episode, I guess. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.